Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty want to give you a YouTube update. Of course, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, more showers, more thunderstorms. It has been so wet this entire month. Uh, so many areas have picked up uh, 10 to 15 inches of rain this month, which is kind of crazy. You can see additional bands rotated through during the morning hours. A little bit of sunshine this afternoon, but we do still have a few isolated little thunderstorms if you are going to get out throughout the evening hours. It looks fine. There may be an isolated storm or two, but in general, it looks pretty good. However, look at the band of showers, thunderstorms out toward the west. So this is the backside of our system. Uh, this is all just light, moderate rain, some embedded thunderstorms, but this is going to rotate back in. By the time we get into late tonight and into the morning hours as our main storm system, you can see in the blue here, these are all northerly winds. And then you got uh, southwesterly winds kind of in the orange and the red or southerly winds. So that circulation, that area of low pressure until it works through and passes by, we're going to continue to have these showers and thunderstorms. But thankfully, it will start to push on by by the time we head into uh, the late evening hours tomorrow. All right, any severe weather has been way down toward the south. You can see eastern parts of Mississippi and then parts of Alabama. There have been a couple uh, severe thunderstorms. You can see that one tornado warning just to the southwest of Montgomery. And then some thunderstorms north of Birmingham, moving into the Nashville metro. A little cluster over near St. Louis, but we aren't seeing much in the way of severe weather. You can see a couple severe thunderstorm warnings popping up in Indiana and then uh, just to the south of Chicago. But besides that, this storm system is just, let's see when we put it in motion again, you can see it's just kind of spinning. Very classic comma-shaped storm. We call it comma-shaped because it looks like a comma, so you can take it back from Kansas up into Iowa and then down into the Gulf of Mexico. But thankfully, this storm system is going to be pushing through and we'll start to see some improvements with our weather by the time we head into the holiday weekend. All right, let's go hour by hour. Uh, just an isolated shower, isolated thunderstorm for us tonight. And then late tonight, that band of showers and thunderstorms, this is after 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, will start to rotate back in. So we'll get scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region. Uh, nothing strong, nothing severe. We don't have to worry about that by any means. And then through the day, just kind of hit and miss, pop up little scattered showers and thunder showers. Nothing severe. Look at our temps. We're sitting into the 50s by the noon hour. We do finally get into lower 60s late in the day. 51 to start, 57 by noon, high temp is 62. Our southerly winds switch out of the northwest as this storm system presses through and pushes on by. Tomorrow night looks pretty good, uh, kind of chilly. We drop back into the upper 40s for overnight lows, and then Friday looks great. Plenty of sunshine. We go into the mid-70s during the afternoon. We are going to start to get some at least a low chance for a few thunderstorms as we head into Saturday, Saturday, which we will look at here shortly. Additional rainfall, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe upwards to half an inch in spots. All right, 60s tomorrow, 70s Friday, 80s as we head into the holiday weekend. An isolated thunderstorm could pop up on Saturday and then thunderstorm chances return by next Wednesday. So, um, you know, all in all, it looks pretty good. In fact, let me I'll show you this here. Let's zoom in. Okay, let's see here. Here's our system breakdown. So, any severe threats, uh, I really don't see much of a severe threat not working back in until about next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are all going to be low threats, but we are going to have a threat. And then the following week, 7th, 8th, and 9th, also low threats. And then again, 13th, 15th, and 16th. These are all June. Once we get to about the 15th or 16th, severe weather season will be done. And then we just have to deal with uh, just the traditional pop-up afternoon thunderstorms that we usually see in the summer months. But if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments section below. And uh, we will chat soon.